Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe number 55-A-S, or 55-A-CW-S. The 55A is representative of this large door reinforcer. It's a 55 door re reinforcer from Don Joe, except that it is an extended width. I guess that's, you know, they decided to call it A. The CW in the part number refers to the term commercial wrap. There was a time that they had an IW, I think it was called, and they called it an interior wrap. And the manufacturer was at one point unable to tell me the difference between the two. My suspicion is that an interior wrap was probably just a thinner material than this, possibly. Um, but it's just a guess. They don't make any IWs anymore. They're all CW or commercial wrap. The S stands for stainless steel. This is made of stainless steel in a satin brushed finish. We can peel away some of the protective film that's here to reveal the satin brushed finish that you can see. Okay. So the 55A, that part number conspires to mean specifically the dimensional properties of the item. This is going to be nine inch tall. It's going to be six and a half inch wide. It's going to be specifically for an inch and three quarter thick door. It will have a two and three quarter back set on the lock. That dimension's off a little bit because a back set wouldn't be measured from the outside of this plate, but from the edge of the door. So it'll be a little heavy on that. And that it has a two and an eighth inch hole and that two and an eighth inch hole is going to be in the center of the height of the plate at four and a half inch. Okay. It will include fasteners to attach it to the door here and here, then obviously here and here. It's going to include a couple of machine screws that will allow you to attach your latch bolt directly to the edge of the plate via these insert nuts that are here, those tapped, those nuts that are that have tapped holes for that 832 screw that's there. That's what will allow you to attach your hardware directly to the plate, and then all of the, that assembly will go onto the door for you to finish the installation. Uh, sure, it's very likely that you'll need to drill through bolt holes if you have a lever lock, um, wherever they are located based on the manufacturer that you're working with for the lock. Um, when I install these items, I would generally, um, I always, dry fit the assembly first. I'd get this fit onto the door and I'd see how my door opens and closes. Um, generally you have to make some accommodation. Every once in a while you don't. The door has an excessive gap and this while this material is not very thick, they say that it's 22 gauge. I don't remember what 22 gauge measure, measures on a caliper but probably 30 thousandths. My caliper tells me it's point 031, so 31 thousandths, um, which is a 32nd of an inch. And while that's not very much that it takes up, by the time you get it installed, it's actually thicker than a 32nd of an inch. So you generally have to make some accommodation to get this installed onto the edge of the door, especially if the margin is already tight, including having to possibly mortise the back side of the door if it's not damaged completely the area to accommodate the recessed portion of where the latch bolt will fit and then even to take it further mortise the edge of the door so that you can bring the plate flat or flush I should say to the edge of the door. Now this plate um, once you have your accommodations made and you've got it dry fit onto the door and it works very well um, you'll want to probably install your latch bolt and make sure that that works but be mindful not to lock yourself out you'll want to know how to manipulate the latch bolt um, in or, or at least do it from the inside um, in order for you to be able to retract the latch to get out or you might have to install half of the lock set to, on the latch bolt to get it open so be sure not to lock, lock yourself out when testing the operation um, and once you've got it dry fit very well and, you, and the door operates, then you're in good shape. What I like to do is when I pre-drill these holes, I'll put them on a small little angle on both sides when I 
pre-drill the hole so that when I run the screw in, it will draw the plate tight back against the face of the door. I would even go so far as to take a couple of bar clamps and put them across the door and clamp it to the edge on the door itself, obviously when the door is in the 90 degree open position. I want this plate to stay nice and fixed. Um, I don't want it to, I don't want to dry fit the unit to get it working smoothly, the door swinging and closing well to only find that the plate moves on me after I attach the holes, attach the unit to the door, especially when pre-drilling the holes. Um, that can be a hassle. So get it clamped onto the door if you have to. Um, this is specifically not for use on a fire rated door, uh, be mindful. It's a little known fact that this item and no door wraps that I'm aware of from Don Joe or any manufacturer, not just Don Joe, um, have listed or la and or labeled products. So that means that they're, they're, they're specifically or absolutely not allowed or permitted to be installed on a fire rated door. The addition of this, simply put, would violate the fire rating of the door, and certainly any sort of mortising that you would do to the edge of the door to make this work would, would, would be the same problem. The first reason why someone would say that this wouldn't work is it's additional fuel load. The door was not tested with a big piece of steel applied to it at the lock location, um, and that's why there is no listing or labeling available with this. Um, not that it wouldn't pass a test, it's just Don Joe hasn't had it tested at all. And again, I'm not familiar of any other products having, having passed that test. So be mindful to just use this in a non-fire rated application. Using it on a fire rated door knowingly would does compromise the integrity of the unit, uh, maintaining its fire rating. There's a link below this video to a document called Template where you can review all of the dimensional properties of the item that we've just gone over. Uh, it does refer to other finishes. PB is polished brass. Antique brass is, a, pardon me, AB is antique brass. BZ is satin bronze. And S, of course, is stainless. Um, don't know why they couldn't do it in a powder-coated, what they call 10B. It's not oil rub bronze, but it would be a powder-coated dark brown. I don't see it listed here, but I don't know why they couldn't do it. They would just powder coat this stainless steel item, and they do it on all other products as well. Uh, then there is a link below this video to a document called Product Catalog, and that will allow you to review uh, all of the door reinforcing products from Don Joe. I would certainly encourage you to review that document, um, certainly if you have more than an occasional need for this type of product, because you'll certainly see a lot of variations on door reinforcing products, U-shaped door reinforcers, and in this 55 type family, uh, you might be interested to take a look at the 55A-2 because that will give you through bolt holes uh, for probably every uh, manufacturer of lever locks that require through bolt holes. It would give you what we would call a turtle prep. You'll have three holes up at the top, three at the bottom, and it'll accommodate all of the different manufacturers that I can think of, Yale, Sargent, Corbin, Russwin, Schlage, imports, clones, copies, things of that nature. So they can do that as well. Um, so be mindful. This one you'd use for a knob lock. The other one you'd use better um, if you have a lever lock that, that has through bolt holes, but not, not all of them. Then to finish off the discussion about the rest of the product catalog, um, as I said, uh, Don Joe has a comprehensive offering of this material, and if you have more than an occasional need for the material, familiarizing yourself with that catalog might be a good um, investment in time. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog, but also there are several um, ind individual sections of the full line catalog, uh, which for me personally, if I'm looking for just latch guards, I'll open up that section of the catalog. If there are two things, if there are, if there's anything that Don Joe is known for, it'd be two things, door reinforcing wraparound plates and then latch guards. Um, however, as you can see from all of the other sections of the catalog, they make a lot more items than just those two very popular uh, product lines that they sell. They are a trim and auxiliary hardware uh, comprehensive provider. Um, they don't have 
the epic footprint that some other Trimen Auxiliary manufacturers uh, have in terms of the diversity of manufacturing capabilities um, and product line. However, what they do have is a relatively petite footprint in the industry that translates to a real measurable amount of nimble uh, nimbleness in the marketplace. Very often the person that answers the phone is the person who could do everything that I need. Where's my order? Uh, you know, I need stuff, I need help with stuff, where's my stuff? You know, uh, you know, uh, and that's, that's handy. Um, independent company um, with still a old-fashioned type of feeling of, of, of hardware um, without the corporate smothering of layers of contacts that you have to go through to get a what does stainless steel mean type question answered. I'm partial to them as a result. The rare occasion that they make an error, they make it good immediately and do so um, every single time that it does uh, happen. If there's any questions on the Don Joe 55A version in a stainless commercial wrap or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.